gentlemen, welcome to our news for today. A blast resulting from two explosive devices near the Martyr's Sun schools in Damascus injured seven people and left slight material damages. More on the following report. Two explosive devices planted by an armed terrorist group near the schools of Martyr's Sons in Damascus blew up today, slightly injuring seven people and causing little material damage. According to an official source in Damascus Governorate, the explosion of the two devices that had been planted beside the students' dormitory and the school's theater led to a huge fire in both places. On his part, the school's director, Major General Mohammed Amin Uthman, has dismissed it as untrue reports circulated by the misleading media about his martyrdom and the presence of other casualties who fell victims in the incident. He affirmed that such reports are absolutely groundless and indicate the bankruptcy of these channels. Major General Mahmoud reassured the relatives of the martyrs that the situation in the schools is excellent, affirming the absence of any obstacles in the way of starting the new academy year next month. A military source has affirmed that Al Arqub neighborhood in Aleppo has been cleared of the armed terrorist groups and is now declared secure. The source added that work is underway to clear Suleiman al Halabi district from the mercenary terrorists. During the operations in Al-Aqub area, our armed forces found a stolen sham car that contained various kinds of weapons and ammunition. Meanwhile, the authorities continued to pursue fleeing terrorists in other areas. They eliminated an armed terrorist group in Kafar Ama, south of Al-Atarib and Aleppo suburbs, and killed large numbers of gunmen west of al Sahur Square in Aleppo. They also destroyed two vehicles equipped with Doshka machine guns near Al Hakim Hospital in the Sha'ar district. Our armed forces also carried out two qualitative operations in Al Bab town and Tel Rahal in Aleppo suburbs, destroying a terrorist headquarters and 15 cars equipped with Doshka machine guns. Units of our armed forces targeted last night a gathering of terrorists in Bab Hood area in Homs, killing and wounding dozens of them. A source and the governorate affirmed that among those terrorists killed are Abdusalam Wazwaza, Ramis Musulmani, and Abdul Wahab Diab. A leader of one terrorist group, Abu Juma and Nagdali, was wounded. The authorities intercepted at dawn today an armed terrorist group who tried to attack citizen law enforcement troops in a sign district in Salamiya in Hamas suburbs. A source and the governor had said the authorities scored direct hits against the terrorist groups. Our army units finished clearing a Spani area at Damascus countryside of terrorists, clearing it and declaring it as a safe area. Chinese Foreign Minister Yang Jiechi said that political dialogue is the right way to solve the crisis in Syria. On the sideline of the 76th meeting of the UN General Assembly, Yang said that China had an objective and responsible approach towards the crisis in Syria and it had played a vital role in enhancing dialogue. Mr. Yang pointed out that in order to solve the crisis in Syria, the main priority now is to push all parties to solve violence and start a comprehensive dialogue through diplomatic mediators. The Chinese foreign minister affirmed that resolving the crisis in Syria must be decided by the Syrian people themselves. In Iraq, six people were killed and eight others injured in a terrorist attack on a police station and several checkpoints in Baghdad. Iraqi Interior Ministry said that a policeman was killed and two others wounded in an attack with rocket-propelled grenades and machine guns on a police station in al Tarmiya, north of Baghdad. In another incident, two policemen were killed and three others wounded in an attack on Army checkpoint south of Baghdad as gunmen assassinated an officer in Amiriya, west of the capital. 
The city of Benghazi in Libya witnessed a huge demonstration yesterday on consolidation with last Friday's victims when 11 people were killed and many others were injured as protesters stormed into the headquarters of the extremist armed brigades in the city. The administrators affirmed that their march aims at pun punishing those who were responsible for the massacre. They also demanded disarming these groups and speeding up the process of building a national army and a police force. Instability and chaos spread in Libya as extreme militias dominated wide areas in the country after NATO's attacks last year. With this, we end our news bulletin for today. For more information about Syria and the region, you can visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Up next, the latest business of market.